Hey guys, this is the continuation to part 1 and 2 of JavaFX tutorial for storing and retrieving images as blobs. We left with basic layout setup, connection to the database and then event handling of two buttons. Here's an image view of where we want our image to load from the database. A simple component to work with images in JavaFX. So let's start with saving image to the database in out choose file method. I'll remove this line and begin the logic. I'll create a file chooser object which will open a dialog to select a file from the explorer to our new file object here. To open a dialog, we'll need a parent window to refer to. And we'll get it from the open button since it has a reference to our window. Then the file will be opened as an input stream like streams in Node.js. I'll catch all the exceptions possible here. Then store is our SQL prepared statement where we'll set our parameters at position of placeholder, our input stream and also define its size. We'll execute the store statement. To try and display our image at the window, we'll create an image object from the input stream and set it in our image view. I 
I'll let you know that our database is currently empty. I'll use my Electron app for MySQL interface. Our photos table is empty. Let's try to open and save an image. Here you can see the inserted image but it doesn't interpret blobs properly. So I'll start my Apache server into phpMyAdmin and CR blob. Somehow the image view is not working, but I'll try not to fix it here since we'll be loading our photos with the load button here. So in the load file method, we'll set the ID of the row we want to fetch manually. Here id equals to 1. He has all our expected exceptions. We will retrieve the result of the query execution in our result set object. We'll check if the row is retrieved and id so will extract the blob from the result set. Blob is just a binary file sort of thing in the database and we'll read it like a stream into our stream object. Then it's just a matter of using the stream to set the image into the image view, right? Quickly test the program and yeah, it works.
Let's try some new image, our logo perhaps. will be inserted with id equals to 2 and also retrieve the image. So that's all for this video guys. If this video was helpful to you in any way, please give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And if there are any queries, please don't forget to mention down below in the comments. I'll catch you guys in the next one.